We are on our third day of vacation. I'm sorry, fourth day, day of vacation. The first three days it rained non-stop, has never stopped raining. It finally let up. All the rivers, unfortunately, are ruined the entire time until we leave Saturday. We got four more good days. There's no way we're gonna be able to fish any stream. They are all that severely high. Fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I took vacation at the wrong time of the year. I thought it was gonna be okay because it's the last week of April, which normally all other times is when everything is in full swing, but it backfired. Um, then all this happened. So I just spent the last two days visiting friends and family. Uh, and I thought of an idea. I said, you know what? I got an old high school friend that has a uh, private lake. As you can see in front of me, it's a really big six, probably seven acre lake. And uh, it still has a good water clarity to it. And I haven't fished it for years. So I decided to come give it a try for crappie and bass and bluegill or whatever bites. And uh, since we can't fish any streams, so we're down here trying here. And she already caught a bass in the first couple minutes. I've had a lot of nibbles, but none of them have got on. But I did miss something nice. I'm mainly trying for crappie right now, and I'll try for bass later on as the day progresses. Bass? Yeah. You're whipping me, huh? Two to nothing. <laughs> yeah. Don't pull up like that. You're gonna break your line. You need to grab it by the mouth. Always grab it by the mouth. You risk breaking it even more when you do it like that with the line tight. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pound. Yeah, one pound. Mm -hmm. Good job. You're beating me two to nothing. Oh my god. It's something big. I don't know what this is. It's a bass. Not a bad one. He's probably two pounds. And see, none of these are spotted bass either. They're all real large mouths. Wow. He's a decent one. He's about 14 inches. <laughs> I'm finally catching you. Not bad, folks. About a four, 13, 14 inch bass. Yeah, you can just. You don't have to. It's filming. It's big. It's already on, you just don't have to do nice. anything. Nice, good job. He put up a fight. Because <clears throat> I had my drag where he can pull it out. Probably scared him right there for a minute. See, there'll be more in this little cove. That's a decent sized one there. I just got my second half decent bass here. Using crappie jigs and Mr. Crappie line, but catching bass. 
but that's fine with me. They're decent sized ones. About a pound and a half anyway. 13 maybe. He's about the same as the last one. Decent sized. I'm gonna put her back. I'm fishing the boat dock since it's some kind of structure. I actually just pitched that out in front of me without even casting it like this. <coughs> That's how I caught here. Another one. Oh, I finally got a crappie. Crappie. All right, folks, I got my first crappie. It's a black, about six inches. At least I know they're in here now. We just had to find them. This guy had to find some structure. And sure enough, all right, that makes three bass. Now that I've kind of figured them out, what I'm doing, what I'm going to do is not cast it. I'm just going to pitch it out here in front of me, let it fall really slow. That seems to be the key: is slow moving, slow moving baits. When I rip that thing, they just don't. Uh, care enough to chase it down. I just got crappie number two. Not the exact size as the first one. Another six inch. Just a little two inch curly tail. Yellow, pink, and white with a charger's jig head. Eight pound Mr. Crappie line. here. I think it's a bass. Yeah, nice bass again. Large mouth. I think that's what it is. It's all over the place. Trying to get me hung up. <laughs> He's under the do dock. Oh, it's a nice one. About two and a half pounds. All right, folks, that's got a nice bass here. Oh, my goodness. You don't want me to grab it. Oh, right. Whew, not bad at all. Decent bass. You might go almost three pounds. jig because I've caught six fish on this thing and a lot of crappie have nipped at it and it's getting tore up. It's got a few more. It's got a little bit more life in it but not much. Got crappie number three from the very middle of the lake actually. The magic number seems to be letting it fall about four feet deep, four seconds because I got an eighth ounce jig hit, and they're not necessarily on the bank, some of them are out in the very middle, 
we're on the shallower end of the lake right now. It gets deeper the further you go to my left. And uh, they're not necessarily right up against the bank because it has been a cold front come through for the last three or four days. Uh, really need a couple warm days, which unfortunately isn't going to happen until our vacation's done. So they're kind of just spread out right now, kind of sporadic. So I just caught my first crappie. I caught about seven of them that were six inches, and I finally got one that's about nine or ten inches. I have to go replace my battery, so I'm going to walk back. I finally figured out where they're at. Well, hey, cutie. They're. You got to cast out in front of them poles out to the very middle of the lake and count to three and then start reeling it in real fast. It's only about four or five foot deep. That yellow and pink. My pink is gone. Oh, we'll have to go get the crappie tackle box. I'm going to change my battery anyway. My pink is gone and the other one that you put on the ye yellow got off. I've got I'll go get the tackle box. I got to change the battery anyway. You got to stand on the left side of the canoe and, for, and you cast to the left of the poles out in the very middle of the lake. Go one, two, three, and start reeling it in. You'll get one every throw. Nice, huh? Uh huh. That's a nicer one. All right, that's crappie number six. I'm going to go show her. <laughs> I'm going to get the crappie, crappie box, yeah. Got a nice one. I don't think it's a crappie though. No, it, it's real small. It was just hung up on a big piece of seaweed. <laughs> it made it feel really big. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> another one three in a row baby three in a row oh, man I gotta go get the damn flyers you know, I got it but I'm gonna have to go get them flyers this one's pregnant <laughs> There's barely not keepers, most of them, but I got the two nice ones. All right, another crappie, folks. I'm counting to four, and then I start reeling it in. Or else you'll get in these little sticks down here. Yeah, got, hung up. got it. Oh, he got off. There he's on there again. Now he's not. There he is. Got it. stunted from crappie they need to stock it with bluegill again haven't seen a one another six
nicest bass of the day, I think. Close to it. It's tied for it's tied for my biggest that we that I caught today. Good job. Man, hold on. Let me let me zoom. Here, hold it straight. More pointing toward. There you go. Yeah, she just nailed in a nice large one. I looked over and I heard a big splash and then her pole was bent over double. Good job, hon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's about two pounds. It's a nice one. Yeah. Not a bad bass. That made your day right there. This is the this is the biggest that I cast today. Mm-hmm. Folks, we're gonna let this bass go. I think it's pregnated, so wow, really nice. Not bad for a crappie jig. To throw an oversized spinner bait and try to get a big boy, and it finally worked. It didn't take but about five minutes. I took a break from the crappie and just trying to see how big I can get a bass out of here. He's about the same as the other two I caught, but he's a good two pounder. Oh, I knew it'd work eventually. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Spinner bait. Oh, I caught him on a white half ounce spinner bait. This was a real long skirt. It is a booyah. So there you go, folks. Booyah! Nice chunky pre spawn here. Looks like a male. Still nice, nonetheless. Boy, the sun finally came out at three in the afternoon after three days of wet, misty, rainy, and not seeing the sun one time. It's finally over. And we can get on with our vacation and have a few. We can have three good days of fishing after this, what we're hoping, and uh, get back what we've lost. Another big bass on a beetle spin, on an orange beetle spin of all things. Man, that's our fifth big bass. Good job. Mm-hmm, that's close enough right there. About right where you are. Okay, turn it on its side. Make it sideways. Yeah, there you go. I'll be able to get a good picture from that later. Now, stick it below your face. Your face is hiding. About right there, like that. There you go. I'll be able to get f f pictures from that. That's a nice one there, yeah. Man. Two pound bass. All crappie fish. Not bad. Oh, yeah, about a pound and a half. Got him on the Bobby Garland electric chicken. All right. Not bad. I actually seen him come after it. was kind of cool. Come out of this brush right here. Came out of this, out of the log. Alright, it's got crappie number 13, I think it is. No, I don't know. I've caught way more than that that I didn't film that weren't worth turning on the camera. Another. Oh, he's 
seven inch black. There's no whites in this lake. I caught one big bass down there, not not as big as the one before, but a pound and a half. And then, and then it's just this crappie. <laughs> I got it on. Hold on, I just got a zoom. Oh my gosh. We was wondering if he was ever going to get one. That's the biggest one of the day. That's three pounds. Oh my gosh. That's about four pounds. My God. All right, folks, we're just getting ready to leave. She just caught a monster of a bass. I bet he's, I bet he's almost, he's at least three and a half, four pounds. Let me zoom in on him so we'll get a good picture. Try to hold it below where your face is still showing though. Yeah, like that. Okay, Kevin. Hey, I, hey, thank you so much. I'll visit you again before I head home. That is a nice one there. Wow. Good job on a crankbait, huh? Yeah. She caught him on a bandit, uh, it's called a mistake, where it's red on one side and green on the other. Let's get a, one more good shot of him. I wanna get. get yeah, take the hook out and then. I gotta get. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. That, that, no. I can get it. I can get it without. Don't hurt him. I won't. I won't. I wanna get the. Pliers? No, the instrument and the. Oh, uh, well, go, yeah, go get the whole pack backpack because the pliers are in it too. I bet he's about 18 inches. Yeah, I have to have the pliers. <clears throat> that is a nice large mouse you just caught, folks, right before dark. Now, now that I'm looking at it, he's five, about five pounds. It's not a small bass. He's, he's damn near five pounds. We're going to measure it and weigh it, but I'm going to say he's five. She absolutely whipped my butt at the end. Wow. That is a nice bass. Wow. That made my day right there. We had one good day now. Wowzers. That is a chunker for sure. Good job, man. That is, now that I'm holding it, I think it's about five. It's, it's about five pounds. I'd like to thank my friend Kevin for allowing us to come out here. Me and Kevin grew up together, went through grade school, junior high and high school together. Uh, and then we both went in the military. We didn't really see each other for about 15 years and uh, got back in contact with him. He grew up on, in this home here and then his mother still lives there and then he lives in the house next door to her now. So. I asked permission to come out here and I'm really glad we did. We finally, about three o'clock, the uh, storms finally rolled away after three days of straight rain and cold and drizzle and wind and now it's calm as can be and, and cl pretty much clear and it got real nice out. He is 20, 20 inches. Oh my gosh. My goodness. <laughs> wow. He might, he might go five pounds. Let's see. <clears throat> he is one out nope four pounds even four zero yeah four pounds wow 20 inches okay let's get him back in time. I get like that. <clears throat> I don't know how to get it. I guess that crankbait works. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. All right, now you hold it real good, and I'll get a, get a good picture of him. That is a nice bass, Wilma. Okay, now put your face in the picture too. Lower it down. There you go. Okay, now stay still. For about 10 seconds okay go down about three inches there you go right there 
That's your, is that your biggest bass ever? Uh -huh. It is, isn't it? This is her personal best largemouth. She caught a smallmouth actually, but probably bigger than this largemouth, but this is her biggest largemouth bass. Personal best. Okay. Yeah, it's a good, it's a big mouth, all right. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna fish for got about 20 minutes left before it gets dark. Try to see if there's an evening bite. I'm just gonna use a crappie jig. She's using a crankbait, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to actually just catch crappie. And uh, I'll probably catch a bass on accident, maybe, but good job, man. Wow. <clears throat> That's a nice bass there. <laughs> You're whipping my butt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't get nothing. It's getting cold again. I don't know if I can either. You don't need to get that tires again? No, nah, not yet. It's going to be messed up. All right, folks, she just caught another. It's about 12 or 13 inches. That's a crappie. Pregnant. No. I definitely gotta have the pliers for him, folks. And we're gonna call tonight. <clears throat> it's one of the better ones I've caught, though. Third biggest one. <clears throat> 